Dr. Stratton, is the fact that medicine in England is pretty well socialized and the government controls the health program, has this hindered the research phases of medicine? Uh, well, I think that perhaps not as money, much money is spent on research as we would like, but I don't think there are any research workers in the world who couldn't do with considerably more money than they've got. And um, Well, actually, has the... Um, does the government make the greatest contribution to medical research in England? I, I think they make a very substantial contribution to medical research through the Medical Research Council and other bodies. Yes, I think they do. How much private practice actually is there? Oh, there's a very considerable amount of private practice. I would say there's more private practice in England now than there was, uh, or as much as there was before the, the health service, because most of the physicians and surgeons and so on who are in the health service are part-time in the health service and devote the rest of their time to private practice. But actually it's voluntary on the part of the patient and the doctor both as to whether or not they use the nationalized health program? Yes, the uh, patient can consult a doctor privately and pay for his services if they wish to do so. Is the state of British health better or worse? Could you make a generalization since uh, the installation of the nationalized health program? Oh, I should say on the whole it's very much better. I think the health program has raised the standards of medical treatment throughout the kingdom. Thank you, Dr. Stratton.